Hello, my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane. Hope you're having a great day. In the last part, we did the Super Speedway Endurance, and it was quite hilarious at the end. And, well, after that session, off screen, I actually learned something new. Sky's always learning more about this game, interestingly. Um, if you actually watch, if all you do is just watch um, to preview something, you actually, it actually takes a day just to watch and preview, you know, of course. But I did that on the professional events because I actually wanted to plan ahead instead of getting into something and being severely underpowered. And yeah, so, yeah, like five days were lost because of that, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. So, I really don't know what direction I want to go for this. I do want to begin the extreme haul, but man... I'm thinking to go ahead and get one of the one of the more annoying ones out of the way. So let's do the Grand Tours of my All Stars. And I'm trying to use a different car for each one of these. I don't want to use the same car twice. So let's use this Jaguar XJR9 is actually pretty good. Okay, so I guess now I guess, I guess you don't actually win the original R92, but you do win the R89. Which is good. I'm glad I won a different one because I bought the black one anyway for the R92 version. So let's just use the Jaguar for this. I mean, it has a pretty good power weight ratio. It usually doesn't do as good compared to the Minolta or the uh, Nissans in races, but eh, who knows? We'll see what happens, I guess. Also, I did find out, I actually researched, because I could not figure out how you got the launch of Delta in this game. And apparently, it shows up around days 495 to 502 and 558 to 565. So, I'm not sure when it'll pop up again, but surely it'll pop up again after that. Um, so, that's the only way I know to get that car in this game. I mean, I assume it pops up after that. If not, that would kind of suck. We're at day 884. So, anyway. I wasted enough time at the beginning of this episode. Let's get started. And, yeah, this is going to be pretty difficult. Probably. Um, hmm. No, I probably should get tires for this. Medium tires might be fine. I always forget that I can press the R1 button to jump where I need to go. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. 1112 horsepower. I don't think we're going to need all that, though. I am going to get tires, though, because I'm not liking the bird ring. I, I don't think I want to use medium tires on the bird ring. Two laps around that might not be very safe. All right, here we go. All right. So this is a race between cars created for speed to determine which one is supreme. All right, here we go. I'm gonna win a lot of money from this. All right, so we got some interesting opposition here. I see. Um, to make this more points, hmm, do I really want to torture myself? Oh, no, no, I think I'm going to keep it on medium because there's no point in making this harder than what it needs to be. I'm going to turn all this off, though. Mm. Put that on one. Because screw having a lot of wheel spin. Um, i tell you what, we can try it without it. I, th I have a feeling I'm going to regret it, though. Uh, max... Lower that a little bit for a little more stability and cornering, and yeah, let's try this. Okay. 
how many points it's going to be. Seven. Really? And I have horrible throttle control. So, yay for a wonderful start. Yeah, because I am playing this with a controller, so throttle control is pretty hard. Uh. These might end up being very, very easy. Probably should use the GT1 for this instead of for um, the GT World, but here we are. High speed ring. Mainly first and second gear where you have all the wheel spins. As long as you're going, you know, above 90. Don't really have much wheel spin. I wonder if they have racing super hard tires. Makes me wonder. Seven points? This should have been more than that. I mean, I know that um, Ford's not really that fast but compared to th these. It seems like this is significantly, it seems like they're not handling quite as well, but I guess we'll know more when we do a different track. I think I am going to put this to racing hard tires on the next race. It though seems like they have different tires. Which makes no sense because these are freaking shorter races, you know. If anything, they should have had the medium for these and the, the super hard tires for the GT World Championship. Because we all just could have had super hard tires and wouldn't have to worry about pit strategy and just everything. Oh my, that was sexy. Very, very, very sexy. Well, I might have been able to overlap the Ford, but I doubt I can now. The Ford GT. This thing is a lot more stable at high speed than the GT1 is. Once again, though, I think that's attributed to... Um, not having the uh, um, rigidity restored. I think when I use the other cars, I'm going to want to restore the rigidity. Because that's really, really helpful when you're going super, super fast like you do on Circuit de la Car gets very unstable. I realized that in Gran Turismo 5 and when I was doing the Formula GT Championship and that, because I think 
I bought the Formula GT car that I ended up using for that. I think I bought it used. And I'm pretty sure there was a used car dealership in that game. And I didn't restore the rigidity on it, and I didn't know why at the time, but, well, I, I actually did figure it out. Because when I went to do it, I was like, oh, my gosh. This handles so much, it controls so much better now that I've restored the rigidity. So, yeah, definitely. There's also an, an option to increase the rigidity. I've never never actually done that, I don't think, with any of my cars. But it might be a good idea for uh, some cars that are very hard to control. It's pretty expensive, though. I just find that using the LSD and or adding a rear wing, you know, and adjusting the rear down force, making it higher than the front, that can make a difference in that. Two thirty-two is top speed. <laughs> Poor Ford GT. Who's back here in uh, fifth? They're way behind. R ninety-two. I know he's up here. Who else is up there? Can't even remember who was in this race. Audi R eight. Didn't we have an Audi R eight? Well, either way, this may be a surprisingly easy and unstressful championship. Now, maybe should have saved the Jaguar for later, for Circuit of the Sarth or something. But I still got the R92 and the, um, I have another one, don't I? I have the R92 and the R89, so I got both of those to use. And I didn't even pay attention to the end results. I are smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another Jaguar in this race. Yeah, so I figure he did pretty good. Um, I didn't pay any attention, but yeah, the Jaguar, the Audi, and the... The R92. So I think, uh, yeah, the BMW got fifth, didn't it? That thing's like really good in GT6, but it didn't seem like it was much of a threat here. Not much of a threat here. Fifteen grand. Well, it is less money than the GT World, so. Okay, so off screen, I failed this race um, a couple times. We got to try super hard. Had hardly any control of the car, and it was only seven. It was only ten points with super hard tires. With hard tires, it was eight points, and they definitely corner better than me with both those. So they have medium. They have racing medium tires. And that is going to be the only way that I can, you know. I mean, I can compete with them with hard, but I'd rather not stress myself that much. So, yeah, we're sticking with our setup. Let's screw one more ice pick point. Or three more ice pick points. For the added freaking frustration. I have no throttle control, as you see. Keep this in third gear, because screw wheel spin. Mercedes, I was trying not to kill you, but. Okay. 
Yeah, when I have the same tires as y'all, I freaking destroy you. But when I don't have the same tires as y'all, y'all destroy me. I mean, if it were going to be more ice bay points, I probably would try it. I mean, I would do it with hard. I think for the burger, though, know, I will switch to hard. But for this, it's true. And they're a lot better on this track. I don't know. They sucked on high speed ring, but... Definitely not sucking as bad, badly on this track. Breaking, but not hit me there. Man, that sucker um, pushed me off the road a couple times. Not very nice. Not very nice at all. I think the other race cars actually have six gears, but this one has five. So yeah, apparently the um, Ford GT and the BMW really, what the freak, really bring down the ice bake points for this one, for this championship. I thought that BMW was a lot better than, than it is. Apparently it's not as good as I thought. It's really good in GT6. Thing. I mean, you know, a lot in the Nuburgring 24 minute race. <laughs> Emphasize the minute. It is one of the fastest cars you've ever seen. But they don't have cars like the Minota and the R92 and stuff like that. Not really killing them on this trade. No 15 second lead here, folks. Kicking it up a notch, ain't they? Tires make though, seriously. I either break too late or too early for that. Well, then, car, how you doing? Feeling fussy today, I see. Yeah, hard to have good throttle control with the controller. You know, because like I've said before, with with a wheel, you can kind of just how hard you push down on the gas is. I guess it's I I, I never used a wheel, but I just assume it would work like. A real car, you know, how hard you push down on the pedal determines your throttle control that you got. Whereas for controller, well, you just simply push the button and you push it and you're going full throttle. So throttle control with the controller is 
control. Doesn't have much control over the throttle. So I just you know, try to feather the throttle like on that corner there and hope for the best. This race was a uh, that if this race was like this, man. Well, we all have the same tires. Matters too much. Fuji 1000 kilometers might be interesting. Yeah, I thought that BMW McLaren F1 GTR race car was better than that. It's not really doing that good. It's probably pretty similar to the AMG Mercedes. CLK GTR race car. And everybody got the same position. So not much to see there. And we'll watch a few seconds of the replay of spinning our wheels at the start and getting behind. And then catching up. Because we're awesome, kinda. Oh, that Nissan, though. Not as good as the Minota, though, I guess. The Minota bested it in GT World. Then he kind of caught up a couple times, but ultimately we prevailed. Because we're just that good. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, third attempt because this car, this track, and one tire barely getting off the road at all equals fail. So, screw that. I'm turning traction control on one and yep, I'm tired of redoing it. Like on the first attempt, I passed him, and then I, on the fourth lap, I screwed up so bad that I was 10 seconds behind and couldn't catch up. And it just, and then the second attempt, it was the same thing, except worse because I got wiped out at the beginning of the second attempt by these little suckers back here. Don't remember exactly who the perpetrator was, but screw him. Yeah, I can drive this without traction control, but man, it makes it really hard to win this. I'm doing so much better. I admit, I suck. I suck at driving these cars. I really do. Too much power. I think these cars came with traction control anyway, though, didn't they? I mean, I can't imagine driving it in real life safely. Yeah, pass him on the first freaking lap. Because I can actually drive and not worry about dying. It's amazing. And see, I get off the road and I also don't die. That's also amazing. 
But yeah, seriously, um, without traction control, I just would keep it in third gear. I would never go below third, you know, and that's fine. But And I would be fine on the corners. I wouldn't spin out from the corners. It would be one little tire getting off the road or one of them hitting me and knocking me off the road. And that's all it takes. And mainly it's them. It's the interactions with them. Or they freaking bump into me or push me off or whatever. I mean, I like a challenge, but I also like my sanity, which is already about gone anyway. So yeah, for the Laguna Seca 200 miles, I haven't decided what track I want to, or what track. <laughs> for Laguna, Laguna Seca 200 miles, I haven't decided what track I want to go. I had to decide what car I want to use for that. So many options. He's just a slight little, just a slight little bit of traction control because, I'm, I mean, I'm, I can control it without it at all. So just, ha just having a tiny bit, really all I need. And I can drive with confidence, you know. This is how this race should have gone the first attempt. What a difference it makes. Okay, well, that happened. But we're okay. See, with the Toyota, getting into um, third gear wasn't that big of a deal, you know, staying in third gear. But, like, you really lose a lot of acceleration with this thing because it only has five gears. And plus, I didn't shorten the gears. That may be something I'd, well, if I was going to turn trace control back all, that'd probably be something I'd do. See the point of turning the point. So yeah, this series probably just will be domination because probably just gonna stick with this setup. Second lead. Man, 
what a difference. Yeah, now if I had a wheel, you know, like I was saying, but I'm way too cheap to buy one. And, well, I'm not particularly rich. Um, you know, I am a school teacher, and teachers don't make much money. But if I had one, I, I didn't think that I could more confidently go without trash control. One thing I will say, it seems like with the trash control, it seems like my tires are wearing faster, slightly. Not much, but just slightly. And that may be because with them, when I didn't use trash control, I kept it in third gear. So, kind of it went easy on the throttle. And like I said, I could handle it, but it's just the slightest interaction with them and they freaking destroyed me. Well, we're barely going to make it. So me thinks, oh my god. Me thinks that Oh my gosh, I have no control over my rear wheels. And me thinks that I'm gonna have to go a little bit easier on the throttle than I did last time. Yeah, my rear wheels definitely went out faster. And that's not good. Lesson learned. Traction control, even though you may be able to drive more aggressively, you know, instead of just trying to prevent the wheel spin in the first place, You do sacrifice tire wear. You still do have the same tire wear that will result if you still drive the same with the trash control. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, that was pretty easy race until the end where I'd worn my tires too much. little too much alrighty I'm serious gonna be a little I think we'll get the hang of it all right this is attempt number three of this freaking race and both times I completed it or I got to the very end and it just so my other attempts, I tried hard tires because I knew that nine laps around this track was going to eat my tires up. If seven laps around Laguna Seca didn't work. So, that still didn't work because on the ninth lap, with hard tires, my rear tires were so bad on both attempts that I had no chance of controlling and I lost. Um, shortening the gears. So, we're going to stick with medium and my strategy this time is that... We're going to have to get a big enough lead ahead and then pits and then retake the lead. So, yeah, fun. This is going to be freaking fun. I just thought Hong Kong and the G2 World was a blast. This is going to be even more so, probably. Oh, please. It can't be worse, I hope. But uh, on the second attempt, I thought that my tire the thing is these suckers even though they have medium tires they don't pit at all so i was thinking well maybe i just ran on the curve too much you know and maybe if i don't do that 
uh, my tires would last longer. But no, not at all. That does not help one out. And also didn't help me on the first attempt that I was spun out at the very, very beginning of the race. Driving like freaking crap. But we do already have the lead. So, interesting thing about this race is that um, the Nissan and the Jaguar... They both will fly off on that one corner. So that actually gives the Audi R8 an advantage. So it's going to be our nemesis on this one. But we really need to establish a big lead because they're not going to have to pit and we will no matter how we do it. So I'm not going to have any. Oh my. I'm apparently not going to drive right. Because I just simply can. I cannot drive these cars. I'll be so glad when I'm driving something else. Other than old mom's race car. Because. Screw my man. Got a decent lead, but I don't know if the Audi R8 is uh, Not yet. Oh, my friend. Help me. So, if I can do five laps with these medium tires, then I should be good. Point seven. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. I know it's not. Hopefully by lap five it'll be a lot more. But yeah, I was thinking that running up on the curbs may make your tires wear more, but it didn't seem to make any difference at all. And I refrained from doing that on the second attempt. That's all you missed on that. You didn't miss anything good. Wow, well, we're way ahead, and I'm okay with that. At least it looks like we're way ahead. 11 seconds isn't that big of a deal. And I think we should be able to do five laps with these tires. I mean, heck, they do nine laps with the same tires, so surely I can do five. I think, you know. It's a fun track, though. I just, not nope, just mm, these cars. I'm actually surprised the Nissan is still leading. He's actually not sucking nearly as bad as he did on the other attempts. Not sure what's different. Either way, even if he is leading, we still should be fine. Yeah, 17 seconds back. So yeah, one more lap. That's probably really all I can do with these tires. The rear tires there are not going to be much longer for this world. And I can I think I can say with confidence that of all my years of Gran Turismo, I've never, I don't remember ever having to pit on a Autumn Ring, ever, in any game, even in GT3, because I'd always use racing hard times, or super hard, you know, and be able to win in that game with them. <laughs> I like this game. But, uh... Yeah, 
the spoil laps with these other tires. I don't know how I won this championship before. I mean, as a kid, I did everything with an overpowered car. So I imagine that's probably what I did. But I don't think we'll emerge out of the pit as still leading, but we should be able to make up the difference. It's going to be close because I had about a 20-second lead. Oh, they're going to fly past me. Yeah. kind of figured they would. But I don't have a huge gap to close. This is definitely, I think this strategy is going to work. Because I was just like, man, surely these hard tires, are, surely there's some reason why they wore out so fast. But it's just this track, man. Well, the AI doesn't wear out their tires as much as I do. Oh my god, turn. The Audi is in the lead now. Four seconds to close the gap. Three laps to close the gap. Now 4.9 seconds. That Audi really is good on this track. Jeez. After sucking on the last few races. He's determined to win. Okay, but I'm closing. I really wish I didn't understeer so freaking bad there. Get on the freaking road. That cost me a good two seconds. This is very challenging. I gotta freaking reset all the progress I've made. Why couldn't you move over so I can pass? Freaking bitch. I made no progress on that lab. Why can't the Audi be running off like this? Yeah, now you hit me in the fr These suckers make me so mad. No, we hadn't understeered on the last lab. I freaking think that one freaking move is going to cost me. So far ahead, one freaking lap. Turn, you piece of. Mm. I'd have to believe his tires have to be getting bad. Go for a pass now. Well, now it's me here with the advantage, but. 
Ugh. You know what? I don't even care. You deserve it after screwing me the last two times. I mean, I did not mean to punt him off, but he kind of was blocking me and I don't know. I thought he was going to move over so I could pass, but no, he's directly in front of me and there he went. And wow, the BMW actually beat the Jaguar. That's hilarious. Apparently, I had the second worst car for this track. That was way, 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 way harder than it should have been. And I don't want to look back at it. Mm. Test course? Oh, no. I did not prepare for this at all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my, 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 my. This ain't good. Mm, I did not prepare. I did not prepare. I didn't know this was going to be here. I didn't, I didn't know this game was GT3. Mm. So I'm going to minimize the dampers. That helps on this track. You know, it helps you for straight line speed and for uh, your car being less wobbly, you know. Losing speed for wobbliness. And lowering the spring rate, I think, will help a lot. I'm just going to reset this to default after. After um, this is over. Uh, well, <laughs> that definitely ain't going to work. Let's, um, I think it was default to 17. I'm going to test this and just see how fast I go. Minimize the downforce. And limited slip. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. At least this car is better for speed than, you know, say the Audi is. Okay, so that was the R92 right behind me, and I'm pulling away. Seems like I got the perfect tune on this car, I think. Might move the fifth gear back just a little bit more. Uh, but really, I don't think it's be necessary. I think we're going to leave them on this. So. Yeah, like I said, let's just move the fifth gear over just a little bit. And I think all the changes we made were perfect. I'm actually surprised because I just... <laughs> I mean, at least I'm surprised on the transmission sake. Okay, so let's do that. And... Yeah, let's... Uh, we definitely should prevail on this. Even without drafting, I think we'll be able to gain on them. I don't think they're going to really... Now I'm 10 points. Oh, because I minimized down force. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. speak do this and this should be a give me okay so they may be it may look like they're hopelessly far ahead but I think that's the Audi ain't it or is it the Jaguar no it'd be the Jaguar I wasn't paying attention to the pace yeah because I think their transmission's only set for like 230 And even then, you know how stupid they are, isn't it? Always slow down in this corner. So, yeah. There it is. And oh my heavens, we're going fast. 
number 69. And yeah, the race is pretty much over. <laughs> We don't need any turbo or anything. We don't need any nitrous. I guess that would be a strategy you could use if you... You know, power, I guess, if you be grafting the nitrous. They're gonna they're gonna keep drafting each other, but they're kind of screwed. All we need to do: minor adjustment to the suspension and downforce transmission. Good to go. Could have put on the super hard tires. I might have got a hold of 15 points for it then for this race. <laughs> Jeez. And like the wind of uh, GT3, that made you do so many laps around this. And it just, wow, it just got so monotonous. This game realized, though, GT4, the things GT3 did, GT4 just did better. It just really did. Almost everything. Almost. Like I said, the only thing I liked more in GT3, I guess, was... Well, there probably are some other things, but I really liked how when you looked at the AI and the replays, you could actually see the tire order. I really did like that. And GT3 was also the first the first game to show the speed of the AI in the replays. GT1 and 2 didn't do that. They just showed where they were. You kind of just had to guess the speed. Yeah, easy. Race is easy. The poor RDR8, it got left behind. <laughs> it looks like the BMW and the Ford are st sticking together, though. They partnered up. Kind of want to watch this replay just to see how fast everybody went. I have to remember to set everything back to default after this as well. I hope I don't bore everybody by showing all that, you know, showing all everything that I do. I just think it makes it more authentic. Could have lost it. I'll try to kind of leave anything out that might be of any interest. And I think car set setup's pretty important for each race. And if I just went with the default setup, man, there's no way. I mean, I probably still could have won, but I would have just had to keep bunk grafting. And then eventually make the pass at the end, which would have been pretty hard. And well, why not just set your car up and just roast them like that? There we go. That's how you do it. <laughs> the Ford GT beat the BMW, or maybe it did. I don't know. They didn't finish. I guess so. The game already decided that the BMW was getting one point for this. <laughs> Well, it got three points for the last race, so I guess it evens out. Okay. Well, that was a quick race. Quick and easy. And stress-free once I, you know, did the setup, which wasn't hard to do. Oh, don't even know what to say at this point. Don't even know what to say. I've tried hard tires, I've tried medium. I just don't know. 
And I can't let B speak to it because the R3, R92 is better, as you can see from the other Jaguar. It's always beat by the R92. So I won't do any good to let Granny do it. So I just really, I don't know. I don't know what to do on this. So I, I'm just going to try to qualify, start in the front, and not let them pass. I can't make mistakes. I didn't make any mistakes last time, and I used medium tires, and I still lost because my freaking tire wear. I could not do, even without traction control and feathering the throttle and not having any wheel spin, I still could not do six laps. I almost did. He didn't pass me till the very last uh, stretch um, before the final hairpin. This is BS. Well, judging from 9.2 seconds, you would think this is going to be easy, but huh, I doubt that. And, you know, I realize they're probably just going to rate me at the start, so there probably wasn't any point in qualifying. Um, thought about changing the transmission. Maybe the other J XJR9 will uh, hit me and give me a boost. Or no, he's just going to slow down and let everybody, even the Ford GT, pass me. Yeah, so really, that didn't help me at all. If this had been a rolling start, it would probably help me. Oh, my... How come in the qualifying I don't have understeer, but in this, and then they rate me? Like I can't win for losing. Beat them by nine seconds. It's unreal. I can't. If they run away with it, I'm I'm not gonna win. So tired of being freaking beat at tracks that I'm so good at. In every other Gran Turismo. Like, I know this track like the back of my hand. But I guess all this practice I'm doing will make me better. I guess. I let him run away with it. Oh, he will. We'll run away with it. Oh, turn! My gosh, man. Freaking understeer screws me. I could have drafted him. Impossibly caught him. he gets away, he will just get away. As, as the race progresses, his tires just get better, you know. Pretty much got to pass him at the end of this lap. Beginning of the next one. He has medium tires, but his will wear out much slower than mine do when I have medium. Do you have to hit me? Of course you do. Because you a bitch. Jeez. Okay. Okay. 
This is the only way this is going to work, and that I cannot let him in front. Got to hold him off. Nice to put it in under steer car. Mm -hmm. Stretch does not help me. <laughs> yeah, he did fly his racing medium because he is killing me on this corner. You're really sad. Oh, God. Whatever we do, we don't fly through. I think I was getting 133s with the uh, medium tires. Too bad medium tires won't last six laps. That screwed me. Always understeer there. If he was in front of me right now, he'd just be running away. There's no mercy at all. Carelessly close to screwing up. Oh my gosh, really wide. Just focus on not hitting the wall. And I actually didn't for once. Nine second qualifying. That's funny. Not representative of all. It was nine cents nine seconds against who? The freaking Ford GT. Nowhere in this race have I seen any nine second gap. Between me and this freaking Nissan. him off for one more lap. Somehow I've actually been building my lead. Keep it 
good city. No, no mistakes. This is the point I didn't have it last time. I mean, I had a pretty good lead on him and tires died. Oh my god, wow. Amazing how they make tires go longer than I do. I had excellent throttle control too. I, mean, I didn't have any wheel spin, no traction control, but no wheel spin either. No mistakes. Didn't go off the road once. up there for me with the GT1. But we won, suckers. Just four more races. Just eight point race. <laughs> A very, very hard eight point race and the Audi beat the Jaguar. But neither will finish I don't well Never mind. Alrighty. Ready to get this nightmare over with. At least I know one of the tracks is Nebergering, and I'm going to enjoy that one. <laughs> At least I hope. Suzuka, five laps. Uh, I'm gonna put hmm how many tire how many laps did they do in the can't remember how many laps they did in yeah, the GT world I want to say they did at least like seven no. we're gonna try this we're gonna try this Standing start, so we're doing a good thing to qualify. I hate driving these cars so much. Not that I hate driving these cars, just these these races are so freaking hard. High speed ring was definitely no harbinger of things to come. Yeah, every freaking second counts. I gotta get past these bozos. Go mess up that corner. Thank you. Yeah. I think not going into second gear is going to preserve my rear tires just a little bit. Every little bit will help. So I need to drive this like I would if, um, if I didn't have traction control on. Need to make our tires last. Thank God, how do you mess that up? Only me. I mean, I just really. I don't even know. I don't know. How's anybody watching at this point? <laughs> Mistake. Mistakes were made. My golly, third's way back there. And the Nissan is gladly running away with the Danny. 
determined to make me do every one of these races twice. Or three times or four times. Except high speed reading testers. Those were the only two. I'm so good at this game. Seriously, those were the only two so far. Some has to sleep and went well, I'd be shocked. He keeps messing that up. Oh my god, he's so fast though. Find it very difficult to overtake him, even though I had a better acceleration. I had a better exit on that corner. Give you a false sense of security on high speed ring. So if my tires are still kind of greenish after the third lap, then I think we'll be fine. The fact that this track doesn't take much longer than Grand Valley is encouraging to me. But yeah, tire wear, man, has been my biggest problem with this. Um, well, besides the Laguna Seca, I really didn't have have an excuse on that one. Well, on Grand Valley and well, everywhere, Fuji. I'm just running off the road in places I shouldn't be running off the road on. So far, I like how my tires are looking. Very, very promising. Sure, we'll start seeing some yellow on the on the fourth lap. That's fine. That's expected. If I was seeing yellow now, though. Suzuka be the third track that I went on the first, the third out of seven. Well, I'm sure hoping so. It's looking like. It. Tire wears looking good. As long as I don't make any major mistakes. We got this. Slow down a little too much there. Last 
say good night. Okay, start to say a tad bit of orange. But it's not too long. I think we're gonna make it. This for six laps we'd be screwed. Just like on Grand Valley. And I'd have to somehow win with racing car tires, which is not easy. At all. I like that autumn ring race, man. Just the strategy I had to use for that one, just, man. I did not expect any of that bull crap when I started this. Bunch of bull crap. Six laps would be a no-no. Because those tires are getting pretty hot. But thank God, thank God. That worked. And barely finished. Well, the RDRA and the Jaguar are tied. Because Jaguar did so bad on Autumn Ring. <laughs> okay. How many more of these? Three more? One of them's the Burgering. Oh, I'm excited. And Circuit de la Sarth, I think that one will be easy. We shouldn't have to pit on it. Or worry about tire wear. The Burgering, I'm not sure about. I think I'm going to have to use hard tires. Okay, Infineon race with eight laps. Okay, so here we go. At least doing the um, doing the enduro on Infinity. At least I kind of have an idea of how this is going to work. So the deal is with medium tires, I can only do eight. Uh, I can only do six laps with the Mercedes. Hard tires, I should be able to do eight. God, I sure hope so. Um, transmission. I'm gonna lower that, and that's all I'm gonna do. This is not a very fast track. Um, I am gonna qualify on this one because I think starting in the front and not having to interact with them will be a big help. Okay, so one by three seconds, even though I really kind of messed up that um, that qualifying lap there. Um, I was kind of shocked that this was the different Infineon version, the stock car course. I was pretty shocked when, uh, when I realized I started going a different way. <laughs> and this is the version that has the right angles. Starting out in front, so we just gotta hold them off. I have a lot of understeer here at the beginning. Do not want to go off the road. We know what happens when we go off the road. Pretty things don't happen. I don't feel like I take these corners well because it's been so freaking long since I've done them. Somehow I have a decent lead then. And since this is the stock car version, I'm pretty confident these hard tires are going to last. I still kind of iffy on the um, regular version of this track. 
it even hard with last eight laps because this track is pretty rough on the tires. Second lead. That's all right. There will be three seconds behind, or 30 seconds behind. You gotta be patient with this car. I, I keep trying to over push it on the corners, you know. Staring out into the sand or grass or whatever, it's not helping anybody out. Well, except for the Nissan and the Audi and you know, whoever is there to take advantage of it. Doesn't help me either. Oh my gosh! Yeah, let's not do that. Surprisingly good. I like how this race is going compared to uh, the Infineon Endurance, which I sucked at. But I was using AMG CLK race cars. So. I mean, what do you expect? And this is me you're talking about, me driving. Oh yeah, 6.7 seconds, I like that. Doesn't mean we can start driving like an idiot though. Apparently they don't like this track very much. Kind of like this is going kind of like high speed ring did. Of course, I was using medium tires and high speed ring. Halfway there, eight second lead. like I'm not taking that corner very fast, but really, I know that you could take it faster. I think that hairpin's probably where I'm killing him, because I feel like I'm doing really good on that. Oh, no, 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 no. No. We cannot be doing that crap. I'd rather not die. Very good exit on that corner. Best lap. Almost a 10 second lead. Okay. Man, hitting the curve really can where you are. But you already knew this. You don't need, need me to tell you. Let's 
saving some points. I actually had some good driving in this. What do you know? Sky actually not in a mod's car. Oh, it's a mirror. So much self-deprecation in this uh, video, I tell you. But man, I, I'm just keeping it real. I'm not good at driving these. Y'all are probably a lot better than I am. Now, uh, granny cars, I can drive those. <laughs> not seriously, I do prefer street cars by far. I know Ice Hart, who I race with a lot in Gran Turismo 6, and who's also a moderator on the channel. Who probably will not watch this, but nonetheless, I'll mention him. He is actually really good with driving these kind of cars. Uh, really, really good. But he's not as good at driving straight, street cars, which is really weird to me. Cause how can you be better at driving a Le Mans race car and not drive, you know, like a stock Mazda RX-7 or something, you know, or a Mitsubishi Lancer. But you can take a 900 horsepower Toyota TSO 30 and you know, not blink an eye. I mean, do it perfectly. Just amazing. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Everybody's different. Everybody has their own preference. Me, I prefer street cars any day of the week. And wow, I almost overlapped the Ford on this track somehow. I really must have been doing that good. I mean, for once. And Audi R8 once again got third. Seems like it's not as fast as the Jaguar, but it has better handling. Two more, and I think they're my favorite tracks, so let's bring them on. And they'll stick with racing hard as well, but I'm not going to qualify on the burgering. It's just going to take too long. So, yeah, we'll just start at the back and <laughs> hope for the best. I don't know what else to do. Okay, so Circuit de la Sarth is the first one, and it's um, the one with the chicanes. But we're just going to do our stock transmission on this. Uh, I'm going to do medium tires for this track because I know it's going to be okay. Don't think it would be okay on the burgering. I'm just trying to think. Seven minutes per lap, 14 minutes. We have not been able to go 14 minutes with medium tires, so. I don't know, that's just my strategy of thinking, but medium tires on Circuit of Sarth, and I did change my transmission, I think. If I didn't, then that's the okay, so. Probably won't go much above 215 if that's the case. Still might be fast enough to win, though. If I out-corner them well enough. But the straight really is where I gain the most time on this track. Straights are. But since I have the same tires... Ford GT is going to get right in my way. I not believe I didn't die there. Okay. Alright then. 
pretty good. Seemed like the, they were kind of sprayed out then. Oh my god. That was a fail, wasn't it? Didn't hurt him at all, though, did it? Didn't hurt him at all. Well. Hashtag that was sexy. One of the easiest races. Oh, yeah, so. Oh, why do y'all gotta do that crap to me? So, yeah, we've done four out of eight of them so far on our first attempt. High speed ring test scores Suzuka and Infineon. Look at you there to mess up my world. Just you know you're gonna push me here into freaking sand. It's what y'all love to do, and I you didn't do it. Heard me talking about it. I'm amazed. I'm amazed they did not scream me. Miracles do happen. I'm going to have to do some pretty good driving to catch him. Just that one mistake gave him a pretty good lead. Maybe I'm taking those faster than him. Seems like I gained a little bit. Come here. Naturally, you gotta get in my way. Will you please go in a straight line car? Don't think I can win now. Without cheating, you know. Because you can't cheat on this track. That's all it takes. All it takes is one miss. He actually got into the sand a little bit, didn't he? Mm. That helps me. Do that again, please, sir. too bad by doing that chicane wrong when I know they also does it wrong. Oh, he leaves me, man. Jeez, he leaves me on the acceleration. really makes it hard to beat, man. Oh my gosh, the car stayed stable. 
please don't hit me in the freaking butt. Please. Oh my gosh, he's right on me. I said, please don't hit me. That's a corner I like to miss it a lot. Yeah, his acceleration is definitely faster. Of course, he's drafting me now, which ain't helping me. up that corner. Oh, I can breathe now. Exactly two seconds. <laughs> that was bad. But we made it. Five out of nine. Already all right, barely finished. And I don't really care to see the standings. We'll see them in just a second. Take our 15 grand. And yeah, the Jaguar and Audi are tied once again. So the last race will determine who gets third. All right, and my favorite track, but hmm, this one might be hard because tire wear. So I'm going to put it on hard, and I'm afraid I'd have, no, super hard never has been a good, never has been a good idea, so screw trying that. Okay. This is not going to be easy at all. I'm very, very, very afraid of how hard this is going to be. 177 miles in this car. So with this, yeah, it'll be over 200 miles. Championships 200 miles. Like the Laguna Seca Endurance Race is. Except that is much nicer 200 miles. me to believe that they can do two laps around this track with medium tires, but they'll probably do it with no problem. I really don't want to be slowed down by you, but ugh, you won't let me pass. And then there I go messing up because of him. Totally not my own inadequacies. seconds behind I am, but I'm pretty far behind, I think. Probably 10. BMW's way up here. This track is scary when you're going this fast. I really actually do not look forward to the to this track. Oh, 6.4. I don't look forward to this track with Formula cars. Even with this car, it's, uh, this car is light enough to where it, it's, it can become very hard to control. The formula cars are freaking hell on this. They really, truly are. And I'm actually gaining, probably because I'm good at this track. I can say that now. I also thought I was good at Laguna Seca and Grand Valley and Fuji. What was the other track I lost? Oh yeah, I'm running off the road. 
Hard and May coming through. Yeah, this car is quite a bit heavier than the Formula car. So, what I will do with the Formula car, though, um, for this track, is I will change the suspension to make it more controllable. There's no way am I going to do so many laps around this with a car I cannot control. At least as a kid, I remember not being able to control it. I might be better now. So. Yeah. They take this section so slowly, I don't know why. You just gave me the lead. Oh my, I see why they're going so slow. These cars are so light, like I said. It would be that way with the Formula car except for Much, much worse. Yeah, I should keep this in third because I'm not 100% sure these tires are going to make it. And I'm sure they won't have tire wear issues because, you know, they're AI and they're perfect. In the, this championship, they are at least. straight so they'll be slow there too because they're afraid to go to 200 we won't pass him straight because he's going to be so far ahead that'll be impossible it's okay let's bide our time because they might they might have a pretty rough second lap if they don't hit which I know they're not going to Focus on not. Yeah. Oh, this section. But this, this car. Yeah. Once again, I take it significantly too fast, and that's why I caught him. And now that happened. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. I am alive. Okay, draft. Yes. Now, of course, the third step. Don't screw it. And the most important step. Uh, maybe the Audi finally got by the uh, board. Well, wow, three seconds just from the straight. Oh, because they they really don't push it very hard on the straights in this. But that's because this track's so bumpy and the AI is very cautious. Probably for good reason. As I've already demonstrated in this race alone. Their tires probably are better than mine, judging from the autumn ring race. So they're probably not going to have tire issues. But if I'd use medium, I'd have to look. You know, they could have been even more evil. You know, you just think Mission 34 is bad as it is. 
with the uh, Mercedes SLR McLaren. Imagine doing it with this car. <laughs> Where you had to pass older Jaguars or something. Oh my gosh. That. I probably would not feel the same way about this trade that I do today. <laughs> that would have scarred me for life as a kid. <laughs> oh man. It, Jaguar's behaving pretty nicely now then. I'll say, but uh, you know you can stay off the curbs. We've actually gone two minutes around this track without spinning out. Which is quite a feat for me with a car like this. Oh my gosh, we're bouncing. Well, we did have to go off the road, but hey, that ain't so bad. Here's where I'm really gonna gain some more time. But this is also where we spent that last time. Because the car suddenly jerked. Did you see how it gets all shaky at this speed? Yeah, I'm just gonna softly lay off the gas. And success. That's why I ended up doing a mission 34 on the attempt that ended up being successful because the car understeered. I was like, I, I ain't sacrificing everything if, since I'm just going to mess up anyway and go into the wall, so I did that. It's not usually how I do it. But Sometimes emergencies happen. in that section is not safe at all. Unless you're in an airplane flying above it. Okay. Homeward bound. And our tires have been good to us. I see a sub six minute lap, I bet I can. It's the first lap really sucked. Shouldn't be too hard. 10.6. Okay, and that is it of that. Thank heavens. Now, thank anybody. Oh, really? What happened to the Nissan? 
<laughs> the only race that the Jaguar got second in. Seriously, what happened to it? Did he fly off the last corner? <laughs> I seriously want to know. I seriously, I seriously got to know what happened. So yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll cut to um, to where that happens, and we'll we'll all see the the uh, remarkable thing that transpired that made the Jaguar come in second. All right, it's really weird. Um, it says that it's giving it full throttle there. If you look on the bottom left, showing the throttle control, but it is not. That's me giving it full throttle. But it is not giving a full throttle. I'm sorry. So, that's really weird to me. So I'm wondering if it just, uh, if it's tires started getting bad or something. Like, I, I mean, I know if I use medium, mine definitely would have. But... I don't know, I really am interested in saying this because it had a pretty decent, it had a really decent gap up between itself and the Jaguar. We kind of messed up a little bit there. Didn't really cost him any. Okay, here we go, 9.4. 15.5, so yeah, he was six seconds ahead of the other Jaguar. He's not really sliding like his tires are bad. Maybe that thing on the bottom left is just my throttle control. Maybe it doesn't show theirs. See, they're not giving it much throttle control at all. There. I mean, they're not. They're not giving it full speed. The Jaguar X is going a little bit faster. Not much. So what happened here? Because he had a good lead. That happened. Oh, that's something that Sky would do. He almost did it. He's only going 194, 195. <laughs> that was a Sky move right there. Twenty-one, twenty-five. So I guess this is how you can find out how far behind everybody was. Just watch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> if it goes far enough. I think I pushed the button too early. Hmm. I was wondering what happened. Well, now I know. My curiosity is is relieved. Alrighty. My heavens. That's over. And the Jaguar got third because of that race. Solidified his third place. And our prize for with that is the car that got fifth place and was never any threat at all is our prize. I like that car though. I'm not sure how useful it will be to me at this point though unless I were to use it in something like this where it would be overpowered. It might not be too overpowered in that. Formula GT. Hmm. I might use it for that. Who knows? I thought about using just a regular car, though, like the Supra, like it in GT3. <sighs> Wash car and all that stuff. Oh, 
All right, our car's beautiful again. And let's check out our prize car. Let's see the specs of it. It didn't do so good against... Oh, an 89.3%. Almost a 90%. Oh, my golly. That was freaking... That was very hard. Very, 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 very hard. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, the Subura Speed 12 is what I was thinking of using. Um, I also thought about using Nissan Fair Lady Z. Um, but I don't think it would really be powerful enough. I think the Supra would probably be the best, or the Lotus of Spritz. Uh, but anyway, what was it that I just won? BMW. Yeah, 612 horsepower. Yeah, it is... Way underpowered in comparison, isn't it? Same weight, though, roughly. 950 kilograms. Uh, less. Yeah, I think it sells for 743. Yeah, they have it as the same worth as the Jaguar and the Minolta and stuff, but obviously it's not as good. So let's, um, see how it compares to everything else we got. 1.553. So yeah, definitely not quite as good. But with the turbo, it might be. I mean, even the Mercedes gets above a thousand with turbo, I think. Yeah, y'all, we're stopping right here. I think this video is long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Stay awesome, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, my friends, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. There are a lot of reasons to subscribe to the channel, including monthly giveaways, things on the Discord, such as karaoke Saturdays, a place for show and tell where you can advertise your own channel or your own talents. Regardless of what you choose, stay awesome, everybody.